Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this video, we are gonna look at app navigation, how it works, why you should use it. It's all coming up. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. Whew, app navigation. This is a way that you can control the navigation experience inside of your published apps, which come from an app workspace. This can really help your users to be able to discover and utilize the content that you've created in an easy way. I also love that you can include pieces of content that aren't even part of Power BI or part of your app workspace. This is a great way to complement your Power BI content with things that are external to Power BI. All right, enough of all this talking, let's head over to my laptop and see how this works. So let's head over to my app workspace that I've got set up. I've got a couple of reports that are deployed to this. Everything is normal. This is great. So we wanna create an app based off of this app workspace. To do that, we're just gonna go ahead and hit publish app. And what we're gonna see is a couple things right off the bat. So first off, we've gotta give it a description. This is a demo. Hopefully your description is something a little more meaningful. The other thing we can do is we can include a support site. So if your end users are having problems with your report content or the app or anything in general, they can go to this site to submit a ticket or things of that nature. So if you have something like that in your organization, you can include this here. It's a way for your users to reach out to you. You can also include a customized app logo. What's awesome about this is this app logo can be different than what your app workspace is using. Also the app name can be different than your app workspace as well. So we'll just call this demo content for the app, but the app workspace is demo too. And then you can also choose a color based on you know how you wanna theme this app. The choice is there. You can't add in your own custom color, but there are a set of colors that you can pick from. Once that's done, we can go to the navigation tab and this is where all the fun is. So the first thing you'll see is this new navigation builder selection. By default, it's on for new apps. You can toggle that off to use the old navigation experience. At the time of this video recording, the app navigation experience is in preview. And so I would expect once it's generally available, at some point, this toggle for the new navigation builder will go away and you'll only see this navigation builder. All right, so the first thing we'll see is a list of content that's available in my app workspace that I had selected to include in the app. So if you unselected include an app for certain content, they would not be listed here. But for these items, there's a couple things you can look at to tell you whether it's a dashboard or a report or what type of content it is. So we'll see dashboard details, we'll also see dashboard link. So those are things that can tell us. If I go to the other adventure works, we'll see report details and report link. And you'll also see those items inside of the URL itself. So I can move some things around, I can move them up, I can move them down. And what I can also do is I can create, let's call it a section. So let's call my section AdventureWorks. All right, and then I could optionally hide items from navigation. I also have advanced items. I can choose uh, what I want the navigation width to look like once it's published. So let's move this up to the top. All right, now I want to include my dashboard and my report with inside of my group. So let's, I'm going to rename this to dashboard so my end users can tell. And we're gonna include it in the AdventureWorks section. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for my AdventureWorks report. So the other things I can do here from a new is I can add a link. And the link can be a couple things. We have a couple options. First off, we gotta give it a URL, but then uh, we can choose whether it opens in a new tab, a current tab, or the content area, which means it's just part of the app itself. And then we can also optionally include those in sections as well. So I'll just add a link here to just include a link to the documentation. All right, that's good. And then that's pretty much it. We also have the ability from permission to allow certain people to access the app. This is nothing new, uh, but we can go ahead and uh, either include security groups or individuals or just say the entire organization. From a production perspective, I recommend you limit this to given security groups or individuals uh, and not to allow the entire organization to access this app unless it truly is something that's for the entire organization. 
And I can also have this app installed automatically for everyone once they log in. This will be based on the security items that you define. So if it's entire organization and you've chosen to install this app automatically, everyone in the org when they log into Power BI is gonna get this app. All right, so that's it from configuring the app. And then when I go and publish the app, go and publish that out. Yep, and let's just go right to the app. So we should see, and bam, there we go, demo content. So this is my app. And we can see over on the left here, we've got our navigation. One thing that's cool is for the reports themselves, if my report has multiple pages, if I expand that, I can see all of those pages that are available. So if I go to, if I go to my overview page, I can see the page that's part of my report. And then we can go through and navigate those items. I can also jump off to, the opportunity analysis sample, and then I also have documentation, which takes me in the current tab to that documentation. So I can go back. Remember I said by default, there's nothing that tells a user that it's given dashboard a report, except for the fact that you'll see this little down carrot, and that only shows up for given reports. So the dashboard won't have that. And then also section groups as well. All right, let's jump back to an app that I already published up. And one thing we'll see is I chose a different color for the theme. The other thing you'll notice here is that you'll see the blue, that same theme blue colors over on the side here. And if I go full screen, you'll see it down below as well. So what I did is I changed the wallpaper of the report for each page to that same color that I chose for the app. So that allows just for a more immersive report experience inside of the app itself. So just maintaining that consistency as opposed to just having gray or white space or whatever around. The other thing that you'll note, if I go back, uh, let me go back out to the app and then we'll come back in. The first thing that gets displayed is the topmost item in your app navigation. And so if I had a dashboard there for the other app that I published, the dashboard was the first item. So that's the one that's gonna be seen. In this case, it's the report. So it's taking me to the first report page of the first report. And so if you want something else to be first or to display first, once the user goes into it, just make sure it's at the top of the navigation. I also talked about the links that you can include. So in this case, I do have a documentation link here as well, but this one's set to go to a new tab, which is cool. And then the other thing I did was included a video inside of the app itself. So the thing you've gotta be careful of, if you wanna include a YouTube video, is it's gotta be the embed link. You can't just take the main parent link, otherwise it won't display. And so you may get some errors when you try to include a web page or a URL for content that's in frame. So just know you may have to play around with it and some links may not work. Let me show you how I did that though. So let me go back to my app workspace. And then we'll go to update app. And then in the navigation under how to, I chose content area and then I've got that embed URL for the YouTube video. It's as easy as that. All right, going back to the app, one last thing I wanna show you. All right, going back to the app, another thing that's really cool, we added that support URL for the app itself. So if you go to the upper right, you'll see this little info icon and there I will see the information for the app, who the owner is and what that support URL is. All right, I wanna pass this off to you. Do you like the app navigation experience? Do you think it's gonna be useful in your organization? Let me know down in the comments below. I wanna hear it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome. And we'll see you in the next video.